All right, good day, hi, and welcome. All right, nice end of the world. Look, the sun is a little brighter today. Not much the sun. Uh, you can see way back there, if you can see a black stripe, that's uh, the other dam, and man, they're really using that one. Uh, there's a beaver house straight over uh, there somewhere. But I got my first trap in. <laughs> Take with me forever. It's the 4th of D January. Uh, and uh, let me show you what happened here last night. So uh, just so you can see, uh, not last night, the night before, the wolves and the coyotes ran across here and went through where my snare is going to be over there at that log. But this morning, at some point, a Godzilla weasel came by, a.k.a. an otter. Uh, so chances are that that's pretty fresh. That's still pretty open. Still pretty mild. So you can see his track all the way. You can see his tail line. That crack you see is actually his tail line uh, dragging. And I guess it melted where his, he made a dark spot or whatever. That's pretty funny. And you can see there's some fresh beaver sticks over there. Well, not super fresh, but fresh enough. So they're, they're definitely an active, uh, there's an active uh, dam. Uh, if it, if it, this dam gets any bigger, I'm going to call it Reg's Lake. Look at all the... He's been, she was up around here probably about an hour or two ago. See all the little otter po uh, pots there. Hopefully it won't come up that way. He might, but he might just jump in that way too. So if I catch him going this way, I know I got him coming down or coming up. If I catch him coming up, I'll catch him the other way. So I got my trigger more in. So if they, it's a beaver coming in, I'm more likely to get a double capture. With an otter, they're really fast. So you, a lot of times you get double captures just because they're so fast. Uh, so I got blocks there. I'll build this up probably a little bit more. The idea is so just when they come, they don't think about it. Just like, oh, okay, just go right through here. And uh, they're going to come right to where they know. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So I'm anticipating an otter tomorrow morning more than a beaver. But uh, I'm hoping to catch some beavers because it's more the beavers I want. But there's always a lot of otters here. And I've caught so many here over the years. Uh, you can't trap out otters because they uh, basically they move around. You can see they're they're also over there. I'd like to get a trap over there if I can, but I got to figure out how to get there because I got to get around all that. That's like an hour, <laughs> you know. And you wouldn't think about just to like tra traverse that. That's like an hour, and traversing the dam. That that peak there is so treacherous. This is treacherous, but that there I did that one the last time, and that one was so so treacherous. Uh, you can die on these things pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, good and sketch. But uh, after you walk on it a little, it kind of flattens out the top of it. It's not as sketch, but uh, it's a dam, so it's sketch no matter what you do. But I'm going to try something different this year rather than trying to really spread out because they use this so much that what I'm going to do is put in, like, extra lure traps, you know, kind of, like, surrounding. So if he's coming in from there, he's coming in from there, beaver or otter, I got a trap for him. Uh, jaws are well below the water. And hopefully it won't be hindered by the ice. Uh, I know it's a weird angle, but it was just to get the trap deep enough, eh? So I had a hard time getting the trap deep enough. So, uh, but that'll be a good. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is if I catch them and I gotta chop out further. I can't really get out much further without getting a soaker. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I should probably bring a little shovel and just kind of dig it out there a little bit just so I can bring the trap in a little bit closer but you have to have you don't want it too close because you want them to do a natural dive like that's a perfect dive he's gonna not even think about it if he if I leave and he comes up uh, he's just gonna just whoop and go right into the trap right into the trap if he's coming this way that's about a good distance about uh, th two and a half three feet there uh, you know, give or take where the dam kind of sort of, it's kind of murky where it starts and where it doesn't. But you can see you block off both sides of the trap. So when they're underwater, they're just going to naturally divert around it and come in. So, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens tomorrow morning.